hey guys welcome back to my nail fiora in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made my fenugreek leave-in conditioner the leave-in conditioner is thick it's moisturizing and it leaves your hair feeling so moisturized so if you want to see how i made this fenugreek leave-in conditioner then just keep on watching To make our fenugreek leave-in conditioner, you're going to need your fenugreek liquid. So I have soaked some fenugreek seed in some distilled water for 24 hours. If you want to know how I did this, then go ahead and watch my fenugreek leave-in spray video. I will link in the description box below. It's the same process um, that I am using to be able to make my fenugreek leave-in conditioner. So just make sure that you make your fenugreek seed liquid before you start this process. And then you're going to need a digital scale to measure out your ingredients this is really important because we're going to be adding a preservative to our leave-in conditioner so all our ingredients have to add up to a hundred percent so you need a digital scale your glass beaker you're gonna need two for your water phase and also for your oil phase we are going to be making 120 grams of our fenugreek leave-in conditioner so <clears throat> add 48 grams of your fenugreek liquid and then add 3.6 grams of glycerin now mix those two ingredients together and that is your water phase done now we're going to be moving on to our oil phase in your new beaker add 31.2 grams of shea butter 8.4 grams of mango butter 10.2 Eight grams of our fenugreek oil if you do not have fenugreek oil um, I will link a video to um, a DIY that I made in the description box below go ahead and check it out or you can use any oil such as castor oil sweet almond oil or grapeseed oil add 4.8 grams of BTMX wax and then add 3.6 grams of cetyl alcohol so that is our oil phase ingredients done so now what we're going to do we're going to place both beaker in a water bath for about 20 minutes to allow for our ingredients to sterilize and also for both ingredients to come to similar temperature once your 20 minutes is up then um, what we're going to do we're going to pour the water phase into the oil phase never pour the oil phase into the water phase because you're going to be losing um, some of the ingredients from the oil so make sure you pour the water phase into the oil phase and once that's done we're going to use an immersion blender to mix both ingredients together as you can see, um, I did add 1.2 grams of fenugreek powder to the mixture, but this is not necessary. I don't think I'll be adding this to my future formulation because it's not necessary. But if you are going to add this to your formulation, try and add it during the water phase so that the powder dissolves completely during the water phase before you mix both the oil phase and the water phase together. So use your immersion blender to um, mix both um, the water phase and the oil phase together. I would say do this for at least 30 seconds to one minute. This will stop your formulation from separating once you have finished making your um, leave-in conditioner. So as your formulation starts to cool down, you will find that the formulation will start to thicken. Um, more and more so just keep mixing until the temperature comes down you can continue to use the immersion blender or you can switch to uh, mixing it with a spatula or um, a device of your choice and once 
um, your formulation have cooled down now it's time for you to add your cool down phase ingredients so I'm adding 1.2 grams of my preservative and 0.6 grams of my vitamin E oil and also 0.6 grams of my lavender essential oil now mix all those ingredients together really well and your leave-in conditioner is done now it's time for us to package our leave-in conditioner so that's it guys i hope this video has helped if it has give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell so that you are notified when we do upload more videos also follow us on our instagram account as well if you do not want to make this living conditioner yourself we do sell it on our website and also in our etsy store so you can go ahead and purchase one for yourself i will link i will leave all that details in the description box below so i'm going to show you guys how i apply the leave-in conditioner to my hair um it's what i currently have on my loose twist at the moment and it does leave your hair moisturized for a very long time so what i would usually do is um i would spritz my hair just with a little bit of water and then go in with the leave-in conditioner a little goes a long way so i'm going to apply this to this section right here working my way from the ends to my roots and listen guys it leaves your hair moisturized and it does give your hair a bit of slip as well and i think that is from the fenugreek seed so you apply that to your hair and then you can twist it back up or apply gel and then oil or just apply your gel or you can just follow up with your oil so you can use the lock method the lco method or the lgo method which is what i use i'm using the fenugreek leave-in conditioner as your um, cream or leave-in conditioner so there you go i'm just going to twist that up loosely and guys your hair will love this it is so so moisturizing it's so nourishing and if you suffer from dry hair then definitely this is for you look at that look at that moisture and it gives your hair an amazing shine as well so um i hope you've enjoyed this video if you like it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel follow us on our instagram and you can also purchase this living condition on our website if you do not want to make it i will link all the details in the description box below go ahead and check it out the recipe will also be in the description box below as well so that you guys can go ahead and enjoy this living conditioner so until next time bye